Okay, so what we're going to do now is click on this bone and say that the target should be evaluated in pose space and that information should come back to us in world space. Now, in order to make sense of this, we actually have to set up a few things. So go ahead and switch to the object tab and make sure that the axis is enabled on the armature and now what we need to do is actually take a look at this axis so this axis is right now perfectly aligned to the armature's axis so when we rotate the armature this axis should also rotate and at the same time this axis also needs to stay exactly where this local coordinate system center is so to do this what we have to do is first click on this grid press the shift key down click on this axis do shift control c and do copy location now the other thing that we have to do is click on this axis go to the constraints tab and of course we have to copy the rotation of the armature itself so here we can just click on armature so that fixes that issue now when we look at this the bone over here this axis is representing the world coordinate system so in the same way we know that okay we need to tell this axis to stay in the center of this local coordinate system so we're going to click on this press the shift key down click on this do shift control uh, c and just do copy location now when we click on this bone we do not want to add any rotation because we're talking about the world coordinate system see over here that's what this is so that's that now we also know that this grid needs to rotate with the entire armature system so in this case if we click on the object tab we can see that we have no parent remember because we haven't saved the file in that way so here we're just going to press the shift key down click on the armature and we're going to do control P and do object okay so that should get us all set up now what we're going to do is zoom out over here click on the armature and just switch this to object mode and when we press the R key and press the Z key and go ahead and now rotate the armature we're going to go ahead and switch to pose mode now the thing you should know about this is that when you're rotating the armature sometimes these bones actually don't refresh okay and you're gonna see this right now I'm not sure if you're seeing this on this end but this bone is not correct right and we can tell this very easily the way we can do this is simply click on this right and press the 7 key so if you look at this axis look at how this bone is to the right on the X right now when we highlight this this bone is to the left on X so this means that something is going on over here this means that it just needs to be refreshed so here we can just simply click on this bone and press the R key to rotate and right click to cancel okay now you'll see that it refreshed now it makes sense right if you click over here see this bone is again showing the same exact thing is to the right on X just like how this bone is showing based on the pose space axis so this should make sense to you as to how this is working see it's always a one-to-one -one match when you're dealing with rotations right it's just based on how these bones are looking how this bone is looking at this bone according to the uh, coordinate system that you've selected so that's how that is going to work so what we're going to do over here is click on the armature and go ahead and switch to object mode and do alt r to reset the rotation go ahead and now switch to pose mode and over here i'm just going to click on this bone press the r key and press the f key to uh, uh, cancel the movement so it can just refresh itself again okay so now you can see that how they are perfectly aligned over here so let's go ahead and do file and save this okay so what I want you to do is go ahead and click on this bone and we're going to now look at the target in local space now this is very straightforward to understand just do the middle mouse button to rotate a bit 
Go ahead and highlight the local axis for this bone and press the S key to scale. So here you can see that the tail of this bone is pointing on the Y axis. So of course if we highlight the world space axis, this bone is going to point on the Y axis. So this simply means that if we click on this bone and switch to local, press the R key, press the Y key, and rotate this on its Y, that bone is going to rotate on its Y. Pretty straightforward concept. Go ahead and click this. Now what we're going to do is change this to local with parent. Now to understand this concept, what I want you to do is first highlight this world space axis and press the 7 key. Now if we look at this from the top view, we can see that in my case, the bone is closer to the Y axis over here, right? So when we are evaluating this bone using local with parent, we know that this bone's information is going to come based on the axis from its original local coordinate system that it established in edit mode. So all we have to do is just click on this axis, go to the constraints, and over here, remove this and just choose grid. That's it, right? So now if we look at this from the top, just like we were, that axis, you can see that it's the same thing. See how this bone is closer to the Y axis? That's it. Okay, now go ahead and click this and go to the constraints tab. Now, over here, we've looked at all these items. So what I want you to do is do world space first on this, on the target, and over here, we're going to do pose space. So let's take a look at the target. Click on this and over here, go to the constraints. And of course, we're going to turn this off because this is world space. And if we click on this here, we're saying that we want to evaluate this in pose space. So this means that if we highlight this axis, we're simply going to go over here and add a copy rotation and say copy the rotation of the armature. Okay. Now, of course, we have to go to the armature, zoom out a bit over here, and switch to object mode, press the R key, press the Z key, and just rotate it a bit. Go ahead and switch to pose mode. Now, this is something that you should be aware of if you have constraints going on, and if you rotate the entire armature, this bone has to be refreshed. And if you highlight this axis, press the 7 key, and press the shift key down and highlight this one. You can see that if we look closely, this bone is going like this according to its X axis. And if we look at this bone, this bone is not aligned correctly, right? So if we click on this bone and press the R key and then right click to cancel, this bone is now refreshed. So here, if we click over here, press the shift key down, click on this, you can see that they are now perfectly aligned together, right? That's how that works. So now if we go back to the armature and switch to object mode, over here just zoom out, and actually just do Alt-R to reset the rotation. Now if we come back to pose mode, we have to do that again. Simply have to click on this, press the R key, and right click to cancel the movement. Okay, so now this is refreshed again. That's just something that you want to be mindful of. Anyways, go ahead and click this, and let's go back to the constraints. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and evaluate this in a local space, okay? So here we're going to keep this at world space, okay? So when we are looking this in local space, all we have to do is click on this axis for it, and over here, of course, remove this and just pick a grid, okay? And over here, if you take a look, actually, it's a better way to look at this is just simply highlight this, this axis for this bone, and go ahead and look at it from the Y's point of view, right? So here, if we look at it from the Y's point of view, here we can see along the X axis how this bone is going down. So now, if we go to this bone, select this one, if we look at this from the Y's point of view, you kind of have to rotate it this way, you'll see that it's going to show the same thing it's going down okay so that's another straightforward concept now go ahead and select on this bone and over here we're going to switch to bone constraints 
So here we've looked at world space, post space, and local space. Now we're going to look at local with pair. Now again, this is always tricky to understand, so just go ahead and click it, and you're going to notice that this bone is going to appear over here. Now as I've shown you, that basically this bone is going to lose its local quartan system and gain the quartan system from the armature's axis, meaning the pose space. Okay, so to do this, what you have to do is actually click this and turn off the rotation to bring this bone back over here. And let's go ahead and make a duplicate copy of this axis because this is the pose space axis. Do Shift D, right click to cancel. And here we're just going to press the Shift E down and select this bone and do Control a P and just do bone. Okay, so this axis is now the child of this bell and go ahead and now turn this on so you will see that in order to understand this concept we cannot look at the bell right we have to actually look at the y-axis itself so you will see that if you just examine the y-axis with this axis over here you can see that the y is going down well according to the world coordinate system right this is how you have to look at it Meaning that if I press the shift key down and highlight this, you have to look at it this way, how this is over here. And now if we go over here, press the one key. If I highlight this, you can see that it's the same thing, right? If you highlight uh, this axis over here for this bone and press the S key to scale, it's showing the same thing. That's just the way this concept works when you are forcing the owner to be local with parent. And as you've seen, it doesn't matter if this bone has a parent, it will still act like this, okay? So that's a pretty straightforward concept there. Now over here, we're just going to do local with parent and understand what's going on over here. So just press the one key, okay? So over here, we know that we have to click on this because we're doing local with parent. And again, go to the constraints tab. And over here, we have to turn on the rotation since it's already there for grid right so this is how this bone is so now if we take a look at where the axis is for this bone it's right over here it gets a little tricky to select some of the stuff it's actually right here okay so here we're going to take a look at okay according to this z axis well we actually have to look at the uh, the y-axis here okay because that's what uh, it's showing the y-axis you know over here if we click this we can see that this is the y-axis so I'm going to actually click this and press the S key to scale so you'll see that according to these two y-axis this is how this bone is and according to these two y-axis this is how this bone is we cannot look at this bone that's just the way it works so we have to look at this y-axis okay and that's it so let's go ahead and click this click over here so now we've looked at everybody over here I'm just going to do world space and world space and press the one key let's go ahead and click on this axis do X and delete it out of here okay so now you've seen how all these concepts work so I think what we're going to do is go ahead and click on uh, this axis and here let's just go ahead and turn this off click on this and just turn this off click over here and here we're just going to do world space and world space okay now here we're just going to do file and here I'm just going to do save as and I'm just going to save it as rigging lesson uh, 3b dot blend we're again going to overwrite these files later okay and that's it so i'll see you in the next lesson thank you